like it, but yeah, it, 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 it isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. I heard different stories because yeah, the tail the looks like it's scalpel or something, but it doesn't look like it to me. I don't know. There must be some other story. Oh, yeah. This is the nurse. See the nurse here? Nurse is very pretty. So we got the nurse and the doctor. Yeah, I have a nurse and a doctor. So when eat the doctor fish, you don't need to go doctor. So when you eat the doctor fish, you have got good things standing up. Make powerful food. So that's about three child in that. Out of that bag, there will be three children. Okay? Yeah. Mm. You do it right on here, sir? Kite surf. Nice. Yeah, I don't know where that body near car, you know? Yeah, man. Bun finger. Bun finger. I'm gonna call this my first bun finger, even though I've had it, but I didn't know the name before. Yeah. So you must say Jamaica and have this already. It's the experience when we start stuff at the seaside. How is it for you? It's amazing. So my first official bun finger. I think I did pick it up in the right way, just real quick. You look like you have hands. Yeah man. You look like you know what you're doing. Yeah, I'm a natural here. You never have to, you never have to flash it up. <laughs> See my fingers? Everything's fine. No burn. Everything's coming along, but yeah, it is incredible how it's done with no seasoning at all, no salt, no Maggie. Uh, you know, you can just get away with the natural flavor, and I think that's it. When it's coming straight from the sea, within minutes, you know, cooked natural, and like you said, Matt, all in its own oil, crisping it up and cooked right through. I want you to hold it like a general tuna man. Man, just beautiful. You never even have to double up your plate. No, I'm a one leaf man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, me a Jamaican and I'm in a two light bun. Double up. <laughs> now make the fire go up in your belly. Yeah, man. Let's try that one. Let's go on a car. And I like him so. You must eat the skin, Tina. Mm. Let's have to eat the skin. The skin is the part. Skin is the oil. Mm. You can get a nice char taste out of that skin, too. Alright, my bun finger. Bun finger. Yeah, man, Dr. Fish. Front Dr. end fish. lifter. Front, Front end lifter, and you know, I gotta be really careful this week because I've been eating and drinking a lot of powerfully exotic, erotic type food. So I had some punch, soursop, and dragon stout, and, and oatmeal with moko. And now I'm having the Dr. Fish, which is also a front end lifter, so I'm gonna have to be real careful. Because I already have two kids. <laughs> I have two goat kids in Jamaica, so I don't know. I already have twins. I don't know if I can take on any more. Mm, you might get a lot more when you leave Jamaica this time in fact. We'll see. Sweet. So, just peels off so nice. Got all the meat in there, right off the bone. And yeah, totally different flavor, totally different texture than the other bun fingers. Mm. Every time, so good. It isn't a thing anymore. Yeah. It's like nothing, you know? It's a live look for this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
The sound they make is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I remember. The whole body is going. Turn my now. This goes on while I'm booking to this. Oh, you know, you know, uh, no. I don't know. Anytime you want, I'll give you a card. I'll give you a card, I'll give you a number. You just call on the other. Anything I want. See, Cram? What? Eat some love, so yeah. It's one thing to throw out a pot of cornmeal porridge. <laughs> it is a completely other thing to throw out two beautiful lobsters because Mary Grudgeful jumped in your pot. That would never help. Not allowed. When I see some lobster. Oh, looking prime, man. <laughs> Yay! It works on everything. It's true. You never hate on Maggie. Yeah, man, the pep one. The Fresh pep one. Too. That have some flavor. You can smell it. Hold on, it, hold on. It. The whole of that have for two laps. Eh? No, I'm not just make a good portion to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I don't know if I pepper you or pepper you. <laughs> Kind some more okay, onion and garlic and so. Experience. A whole pot of curry come kind of first come Yeah, experience. it's my first one. First time eating conch. Yeah, I've been here so many times. I've always heard about it. I've seen the huge shells, the queen conch, like that massive, beautiful shell that you'll see. Yeah, and they get pretty expensive because they're, they're like a prized piece to find a nice intact one yeah, on the shore. It's been, it's yeah. been out for two years, but it's back in full effect. So and we'll try. Finally, it's been on yeah, my man. list of things to do in Jamaica for so long. So I'll be very happy to check this one out. Yeah, seriously, man. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. So the man, them oh, have curry yeah. them have lobster, them have all of them things that we have to try. Some Escovich lobster with some of the curry conch. First time Matt I get to try. First time Matt I get to try conch in Jamaica and some curry conch. So we have to go make sure it's set up well and proper. You can tell sir, that it is. this is outer bank conch. Outer bank conch different and inner bank conch. Oh yeah, how do you tell? I can just look and tell the sea conch. It's, it's found in deeper waters outside of the shores of Jamaica sometimes and the inner bank conch is softer, has a much richer texture and it cooks down a lot slower and doesn't have to cook as long as outer bank. You have to put a, a real good cook. Some people even pressure cook it when you're trying to tenderize that conch when it's outer bank conch. But the inner bank conch, I mean that's what you're getting Bahamas and stuff like that. Our conch industry has really taken a beating and conch was banned here for a couple of years. It's back now, but we still have to take care of it and be careful how we get it and how we consume it as well. So that we fry down for a little bit after you know that it has the garlic and the black man and pepper in there already. You just have to mix that up now and make your oil touch and it works in there. 
can smell the lobster, the freshness of the lobster yeah. starts to come up already, it starts to escape and it starts to smell really good already. So him just down that lobster into that pot and that smell come up and that smell was like almost a wave licking you, licking your nostril like the ocean just come back. How fresh the lobsters are, you can smell it once it hit the pot man. The, the whole of that salt water smell just exhumed out of it and it, it it's a go on. I don't think we ever did Esco Beach lobster on this yet. You know there's a famous place up Kingston side that we have to go check out that the Esco Beach lobster soon and hopefully we'll reach her soon but you hear it cracking around there behind me and it, the smell, it, I can't emphasize the smell much more that fresh lobster smell, the smell of lobster just brings out some flavors in there and that oil cooking it down with the garlic and the scotch bonnet pepper in it yeah man, it starts smell and it smells good Nice and touchy, yeah, look at that. Bits, little bit of char on the bottom. That one, nice kiss yeah man, oh, help to get the steam off, yeah, man. cool off, a little bath of Escovich. A nice bath of Escovich for the work in the man, I'm just warming back up with it. Yeah. So you get the juicy taste of the title now? Eh? Yeah man, it's a fresh out of the frying pan yeah. into the fryer. So everything just kind of soak in the way this here, man. Like the creep up now and then it looks like every time you do that some of the seasoning gets back ah. into it so, so you every add the little juice it tastes away everybody does any flavor say. that yeah. secretes out it and come out it just go ah. right back into it <laughs> and then load up Just a quick heat up, not too much so it's soft, it's still going to Yeah, so you have a little crunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't think I've had lobster since I went to Hellshire Beach with Matt two years ago, so this is my first lobster experience in some time. Yes. Long time when I eat a lobster. Time Long some time. Some Escovich lobster. I think the last time we had it, it was Escovich as well. Yeah, same time. Yeah, well, we can have one now and try a different one later. Oh now, my god. <laughs> we have a whole heap of food to go through. Like, look at the size of this. I think this is going to be my only one for the day. That's for scale. Um, boom. Yeah, man, it, it, it's a go on with our bag of things. And the Escovich smell upon it already. It saw the sauce go on to it and it smothered right in there. So. Shall we dig in? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can. How do you tackle it first? Why? Anyway, tail, you find meat, hands, you know, whatever. Anyway, you find meat. Pull it out as one big piece of tail. One big chunk. Oh. See, they're coming right out. <laughs> oh, my God. oh man. You know, whoa. I'm sending lob lobster flying everywhere. So I can see the nice chunk of meat does come out. It's doing a big I'm twist here. The sauce on it. There we go. Yeah, man. Well, proper. All right. You can look at it. Cheers, Matt. Thanks for hosting me. You get Escobi sauce on it. Mm. Oh, it is. Nice, nice kick on it too. Nice already. kick of the sauce and everything mm -hmm. on it. My big piece right from the top. 100%. Mm. Mm. Yum, man. And that little bit of crunchiness from the Escovich. Just like you said, you, you don't want it A little too crispy much. part right there. Mm -hmm. So, right there, I have a little crispy and it pops with flavor because sometimes the seasoning burn on to it. Mm -hmm. I have a nice crispy taste. And the carrot and the onion really get infused with the scotch bonnet. With the scotch bonnet. It completely covers it. Even though you're not cooking it long, 
You're not even letting it sit long. Um, put a whole one in the plate. So the whole scotch bonnet go in there and it just infuses into the meat, into every corner, every crevice. You saw when he kept on smothering it and put it on mm -hmm. it. I mean, it was just something that, like, it's another bath. After that oil, because the scotch bonnet is in the oil as well. So after the oil, to smother it right back onto it, trust me. Oh my God. Mm. No, I skipped breakfast, like I said, deliberately because I know I was meeting up with you. And no, man. I'm Good. glad I did. Good cause. <laughs> this is not a little lobster to start with. Good cause. And this is our first round, so. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Mm. Oh, damn. Mm. Just a little burn flavor and a little char taste with it. That's so nice, man. Mm. So this piece is, isn't burnt or anything, it's just all of that is like seasoning mixed with meat that has basically put a little crust on it which sucks in all of the all of the escobit sauce as well and all of that seasoning and is one of the sweetest parts of lobster. You do it as well when you grill conch you'll see some of this on it and I always tell you that that pop has immense flavor in there when you take that part off and just pop it in your mouth. You don't want to see me eat a lobster you know? when I eat a lobster I literally shell it. Mm. <laughs> Nothing like of course, I'll make you try mine because I know you're not that for my mm. mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Try and get the last of that meat in there. Mm-hmm. Bite it and run into there. Into that spiny part, there's a nice section of meat in there. Don't waste anything. Right that spiny area, it has meat in there and the meat is really flavorful as well. So you can really get a nice chunk of meat. Yes. Thank you. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, man. Curry cone. Curry cone. Yeah, man. First conch ever. I've been waiting and First waiting. time you have been conch? First time ever in my like, whole seriously? life. Yeah, seriously. It's really good. There you go. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nice one. That's conch? Yeah, man. That's really good. It's very meaty tasting. Very meaty. I did not think, I was expecting way more slime. You know, not slime, <laughs> but seafood. You know, I was thinking maybe more like a I don't know. I was thinking something with, with, with a little flavor, almost like an oyster, t a oyster flavor, something on the sea, a little more. A little bit, yeah. I mean, it's versatile. It's a meat that you can put flavors on, and it still has a little sweetness to it, to it itself. It's almost okay. So to me, it's almost like a scallop, but a little different texture. Maybe more steak-like texture. It's more steak-like. Well, uh -huh. that comes because this one is the deep sea one. Mm. So this is the outer bank one. So it's it, a lot more tougher, more firm than the inner bank one okay. would be. And then you get a piece of breadfruit trip with it. Mm -hmm. So I go hand in hand with it. Nice piece of breadfruit. Roast. Fried. Fried. Roast. Roast and fried. Roast and fried. Roast and fried. <laughs> Roast and fried. <laughs> We got chi ching ching. Roast our fry. Yeah, yeah I, I guess I would. The closest thing I can think of is kind of like a scallop, but unique. Yeah. Snail. Mm -hmm. Sea creature. Whatever they want, call it. Yeah. I mean, this one though, like curry brings up. Curry is a very heavy flavor. So, I mean, the curry going mm -hmm. give you a whole leap of its own flavor in itself. So, you, it will take away from. The, the seaness of it, or, or the seafoodiness of the conch itself. True. But yeah, the sauce is so nice, and yeah. I did get a shot, I guess he was kind of halfway through cooking, where he poured a whole bunch of coconut milk oh, so all over it, so that's where we're getting the nice... I guess an little sweetness all the time. Yeah, a little bit of sweetness, yeah, man. but it doesn't taste overpowering coconut. No, when you they don't have a lot of coconut mm -hmm. in there. You don't taste it like, it full like, like a rundown or something. Mm -hmm. Man, that is so steak-like, I can't believe it. No. Anyway. This has been absolutely incredible. First call. Amazing jerk chicken. Definitely in my top three jerk chicken experiences of my whole life. And I'm losing my mind. What else do we have? Lobster. 
Lobster? Oh my god, I could. Come on. <laughs> I almost forgot the lobster, but. Oh my god. That's good. Yeah, well, and I'm going to have to serve it. I know. I'm not getting dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need dinner after this.